Hello radio amateurs. My name's Dan Nizgoda, KE7TBB, and I'm going to show you how to use VLC to encode uh, video for your digital amateur television. So, VLC is open, it's freely downloadable on the internet. We're going to go up here to the menu. Now, the process I'm going to show you is this is if you have an IP to ASI box, which means this computer right here is going to be pulling video from wherever and sending it out over Ethernet to your box, and the box is going to spit out ASI for your uh, digital transmitter. So we're going to go to Media, Stream, Open Media. Now you're going to choose what you want. If you want to play a file on your computer to transmit, you can do that. You can browse for a file. <clears throat> like that. Okay, if you have some kind of uh, DVD or disc that you want to play, you can choose that. If you want to stream something else, something you saw in uh, BATV or, um, you know, uh, the ATN, you put in the URL of the stream that you want to transmit. All right, here's the important part: capture device. So, you can do three things. You can get video from the desktop of your computer. For instance, it would mirror your mouse and your display and everything. <clears throat> you can pick a tuner card, which is this. If you have a tuner, uh, some kind of television tuner card or a DVB tuner card in your computer, you can choose that and that's what would be encoded alright and then we got this other thing direct show so what direct show does is it allows you to choose a video input device I don't have any right now but if I plugged in a NTSC capture dongle one of the USB ones off eBay I'd be able to pull video from that into VLC and you can also choose audio input whatever you want you're gonna hit stream click alright the source we already chose in the last screen we're gonna click next okay destination we're gonna click here the drop down and we're gonna pick MPEG transport stream right here and add now you're gonna address your IP to ASI box now when you plugged in the network uh, it has an IP address and you're gonna have to find that out depends on the network the box should have a default and you'd enter that in here and the port that's going to be streaming over so once you get the address in there you can go here to transcoding options alright right here we're going to click here and set up uh, what kind of video we want so encapsulation we're going to pick MPEG TS for transport stream for video codec we're going to pick right here the drop down MPEG 2 or MPEG 4 uh, bit rate frame rate it'll transcode from the original content audio codec this depends it'll do AC3 <laughs> yes it will um, but MPEG usually suffices AC3 or excuse me ACC is efficient and MPEG 3 is cheap and dirty subtitles you don't have to worry about that so transport stream, MPEG2, and AC3. Save. It didn't show up here. I programmed in a, a, a profile here, and it says 8VSB MPEG2 transport stream DVB-ASI. I already had that in there. And you can see my settings here. MPEG transport stream, MPEG2 had a a thousand kilobits a second and 29.97 frames a second AC3 audio at 128 kilobits a second stereo and no subtitles save next miscellaneous options um, the whole VLC works um, it's basically a big engine all these screens uh, are just telling the, uh, the encoding engine what to do and all those screens that we just went through configuring 
spits out this uh, this uh, stream output string and this controls the program so hit stream and you're live now n this was all fake I didn't I don't actually have anything hooked up but that's how you'd go about sending video from your computer to a IP to ASI box this is Dan KE7TBB in Las Vegas happy ATVing